friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's of what I eat in a day. Welcome to my car. I forgot to film my intro and outro and it is the end of the day. I just got done showing a house, which you'll see in today's video. So I wanted to pop on really quick and film my intro. If you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend this service so you know where you should fall every day to be successful. If you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group, head on over and join us there are all down in that description box. So we have a what I eat in a day today, a super fun day, a fabulous summer vibe, dinner recipe, lots of good food, so let's jump in. This is my meal prep. These are the protein sweet potato breakfast bowls. You guys, if you have not made this recipe from Monday's video, absolutely incredible. You can have it cold, you can have it warm. There is this delicious sweet potato mix at the bottom with some protein powder, some fresh fruit. It is absolutely incredible. So filling, so satisfying. So this is going to be my breakfast. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head outside to eat. It's just such a beautiful morning. And then I'll chat with you guys for just a couple minutes. Good morning, guys. So I'm outside with my breakfast. I'm telling you, if you have not made this meal prep, it's so good. My favorite way to eat it is to just warm it up in the microwave for just a couple of seconds just to get it barely warm, but the fruit is still cold. It's so good. So I have a super, super busy, kind of crazy day today. I have a coaching call at eight o'clock this morning. It's currently 7.30, so I decided I would go ahead and eat some breakfast. I've poured my first 20 ounce glass of water towards my gallon of water for today. And then I'm doing laundry. I need to get caught up on some computer work, get my meal plan done so that it can go out to everybody who signed up for my meal plan for the month of July. So I need to get that all done. And then I have a Zoom call this afternoon afternoon at three o'clock with my challenge group over on my Facebook group. We're about to start our summer challenge. It actually starts July 1st. So if you haven't joined or you're not part of my Facebook group, come join us over there. We're having a really fun summer inspired challenge just so we can set some goals for summer, help each other reach those goals. I do Zoom calls twice a month with that group. So I have that this afternoon. It's going to be over a hundred degrees today. So when Troy gets home from work, we are going to barbecue for dinner tonight. So I'll be sharing that recipe with you. And then I have to go show a house at 630 tonight. So I have a very busy packed day. So of course I'll take you guys along with me throughout the whole thing. I'll share with you, of course, all my food today and then tonight's dinner recipe. So things are just really, really busy. We have diesel surgery this Friday. So we're kind of gearing up for that getting our house ready, getting our lives ready. We ended up ordering some stairs off of Amazon for Palmer because he can't get up on our bed. He has figured out a way to maneuver down off of our bed so that he doesn't have to actually jump off of our bed. He's found a little way off that is less of a jump. He's so smart and too smart actually. So it's just busy getting that ready and the weather here has been in crazy, crazy hot, which is not fun of course for anybody. I posted this eyeshadow look that I'm wearing today on Instagram. Got a lot of questions. I will go ahead and post this palette down in the description box for you. It's such a pretty palette and super, super affordable, perfect for summer. I got a new pillow, so I want to show that to you guys. We just have a busy day. So I'm going to finish my breakfast and then we'll jump into the rest of our day. So I promised I'd share with you about my new pillow. 
I literally can't stop smelling it. This is the Sutera Lavender Zen Pillow. It smells absolutely incredible. If you love lavender, you will love it. It's lavender, but it's not overwhelming. And I ended up getting this pillow because I'm having a hard time sleeping at night. I've mentioned in a previous other videos that I've woken up with my neck hurting, like my lower neck and sometimes even my shoulder area. I am generally a stomach or side sleeper and I do put my arm under my pillow and sleep on it. So I wake up at night sometimes with my arm falling asleep. I also wake up with, you know, again, the shoulder pain or my neck pain. So I wanted a pillow that was proven for sleepers like me. So I decided to partner with Sutera again today. I've partnered with them in the past on a couple of their other pillows that to this day I'm obsessed with. This is their new pillow, the Lavender Zen. So I want to thank Sutera for partnering with me for today's video. So let me tell you a little bit about my new delicious smelling pillow. The Lavender Zen is made of luxurious supportive memory foam that conforms to the unique contours of your head and neck, and that allows cushioning and pressure relief customized to your personal needs. This comforting design is perfect whether you sleep on your back, side, or stomach, and that is exactly why I wanted this particular pillow, making it a premium option for all. Lush, high-density memory foam features micro channel ventilation technology and allowing increased airflow and breathability. So what happens happens with that too is it keeps it cool as you sleep it doesn't get hot for you as you lay on your pillow and the outside case here is removable to wash it you can even wash the pillow it does come with care instructions which I think is really nice about the pillow as well so this is a versatile design for back stomach and side sleepers it can really benefit anyone that needs relief from pain caused from sleeping whether that's like me and your neck or your back or your shoulder the lavender essential oil will help ease your tension and support a restful sleep so again it has humidity and temperature control that optimal flow technology for air, which I love. It's great for all sleep positions. It promotes a healthy spinal alignment. Ultra plush memory foam for a full body support, which I think is really important too, because when we're sleeping, we just don't need support for our head. We actually need support for our entire body. Body. So I'm so thankful to partner with Sutera again. I love my other products from Sutera. I have their air purifier. I have their plug-in clarify on. I have a lot of their products in my home. I will give you guys updates on those products as well, but I really wanted to share this pillow with you. I will link this down below with a special discount just for you. Thank you again to Sutera for partnering with me for this amazing, such yummy smelling pillow that I can't wait to fall asleep on tonight. Oh, you have a cool baby. Oh, so cool. Hi, Lola. Lola, look at Palmer. He has his baby. No, you're not taking Are you taking it in? No, you're not taking it in. Pumpkin, let's get your pool for later. We'll have Daddy get your pool when he barbecues tonight. You guys, it's so hot out here. It's going to be over 100 today. Pumpkin pail. Are you cozy, buddy? It's time for my morning snack. I'm going to have the new flavor of the California Citrus Kombucha. I'm so excited to try this. I'll put it here on the screen, my thoughts, but I count this bottle as one point. WW counts it as three. It is one to me, so I'm going to have that. And some pistachios. I love these little pre-portioned out individual little packages. I love pistachios. I love nuts in general. I can very easily overeat them. So I love that this is pre-portioned out. So I'm going to have some pistachios and some kombucha. My Wicked Bayou candle subscription is here. I shared this with you guys last month. It was my first month receiving this subscription box. If you love candles, car air fresheners, wax melts, you will love this box. Super, super affordable. It's a small business. I love it. This, in my opinion, is the best candle subscription box that I've ever ordered. So on the back of the little card here, it does tell you what comes in the June box, but I don't want to peek. Here is how it comes wrapped in tissue. And then lots of fun, floofy packing, which I save and then I reuse it if I ever send packages out. So we can go through what is in my box, starting with, it looks like a candle. Okay, hello. So first we have the Wicked Bayou candle in Bahama Mama. And this says it has notes of orange and pineapple with hints of cherry. Oh my gosh. 
That is literal summer in a candle. I will tell you that I burned last month's candle. Amazing throw. It filled my entire office with scent and it burns down completely where virtually there's nothing left in the container. So I'm super excited for this. Oh my gosh, how fun. This is the Car Freshener Scent Pineapple Margarita. Notes of pineapple mixed with lime. And I have the sunflower one in my car from last month and it still smells. Now it's not as strong as it was when I first put it up, but it still smells. Look how cute this is. And this smells incredible so these are really cute because they're fun to hang up in your rear view mirror because they are really pretty and aesthetically pleasing and like i said that scent has been in my car well over a month looks like we have wax melts this is in passion fruit mojito notes of passion fruit with hints of lime and mint if i can get it open here ah struggle oh that smells amazing this literally smells like the mojito drink I find that these wax melts also have very good throw and last quite a while. And lastly, which is super exciting, is it looks like we received a second candle. This one is an Island Mimosa. I can't believe we actually got two eight ounce candles in this box for the price is insane. I will put the price here on the screen and I'll make sure that it is linked down below for you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, this smells so good. So this is notes of pink grapefruit and hints of Chardonnay incredible like so good so recapping what we got we received the island mimosa candle the margarita car air freshener the passion fruit and mojito wax melts and a second candle in bahama mama so again i love this box i think for the price point this is exceptional last month i received a couple wax melts a candle and a car air freshener so it does change up from month to month but you always receive one eight ounce candle and sometimes two just depending on the month i'm hoping i always get a car air freshener because i can't believe how well this lasted in my car and how cute this is just hanging from my rear view mirror so again i'll link wicked bayou candles down below in the description box so you can get your hands on this candle subscription should we go get your brother i think he's up let's go get him he's been sleeping for hours okay look at my house it's just covered in dog toys welcome to having Palmer and several dogs. <gasps> Do I see a little nugget? Hi, pumpkin. How was your nap? How was your nap? Hi. Hey, let's go outside and go potties, okay? Okay. And I convinced him to come outside. Hi, buddy. How was your nap? Did you have a good nap? Pumpkin. Lola, you want to come out? Come on. Come on, Lola. Hi, baby. Hi. Now we just have the big one to come out. Yeah, hi. Hi, cutie patooties. Hi. So here's my lunch for today. We are doing a what I eat in a day of meal preps, which just shows you that you can meal prep and it's great because everything's on hand for you to have for your meal. So this is the glazed hoisin meatball rice bowl that I also meal prepped. I went ahead and added a half of a cup of rice to mine and then the meatball recipe with some carrots and green onions. You guys, this is absolutely delicious. Mine is seven points. It is three for the rice and four for the meatballs. Now you can just have the meatballs. You could change it up if you wanted to lower the points, but I'm totally fine with seven points. And I'm also going to have my about fourth cup of water working on that gallon. So this is my lunch. I may have a sweet treat after. If I do, I'll definitely show you. So after my lunch, I decided I'm going to have one of my healthy eating all the time and go mini bars. These are my favorite little nice, healthy, clean, sweet treat. They come in a box like this. They're perfect size. They're 100 calories, three points on WW. And like I said, the ingredients are super clean. There's protein, healthy fats. So I'm going to have one of those as the rest of my lunch and kind of my dessert. What do you think? Should mama have one? Yeah, mama should have one. So I'm about to get on my Zoom call with my challenge group. It's 2.30. I'm hungry. I'm going to have a snack. So I have this Chobani Low Sugar Greek Yogurt in Gill Cherry. This is my last one of these. These are amazing. And then I'm going to top it with about a tablespoon of my Purely Elizabeth Vanilla Almond Butter Granola. If you watched my How I Cheat on WW video, I'll link it down below for you. I do not count the tablespoon of granola. 
that goes on to my yogurt. However, it will be figured into my total calories for the day. So that's my afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, we are grilling. It's over 100 degrees here, and we are feeling like a kebab night. The first thing I'm going to do before Troy comes home from work is get these kebabs marinating. So we're doing a rosemary garlic steak kebab. So what I'm going to do is get the steak marinade ready to go. This recipe also marinades some tomatoes, which is pretty fun. So for the steak marinade, you're going to need some steak. This is just some top sirloin grass-fed grass-finished steak from my butcher box you guys know how much i love butcher box it is the best price and the most affordable for grass-fed grass finish so i'm going to chop these up into chunks and that's what will skewer on the kebab i will link butcher box down in the description box with 30 dollars off of your first box you're also going to need minced garlic the recipe calls for regular balsamic vinegar and honey but i'm just going to use balsamic glaze because it's already thick and sweet like i did already add honey to balsamic vinegar if that makes sense i will make sure the original recipe is linked on my website some stone ground spicy mustard and some salt and pepper so i'm going to go ahead and chop up the steak into chunks and then i'm going to put it in a ziploc bag with all of the marinade ingredients so the first thing i'm going to do is chop my steak Going to go ahead and chop up the veggies for the kebabs i have zucchini a couple of potatoes grape tomatoes some mushrooms and then some fresh rosemary i'm going to add all of this to a bag with a little bit of olive oil so that it can marinate as well and there is our veggies so i added a couple tablespoons of oil and a whole bunch of fresh rosemary and then i'm just going to shake that up again let it marinate in the fridge for a couple minutes and we'll start putting the veggies and steak on our skewers. All right, I'm gonna start the skewers. I have some metal skewers. We'll skewer up some veggies and some steak. Put them here on the foil lined sheet pan so that they can go on the barbecue. So here are our kebabs. They look absolutely delicious. We have steak, potatoes, zucchini, mushrooms, and cherry tomatoes. So we'll get these on the barbecue. We're not gonna do any sides. I have to leave to show a house. And the kebabs are done. These look delicious. The recipe makes 12 servings and it is four points per serving. So basically per kebab. I'm gonna go ahead and have two kebabs since this is all that we're having for dinner. How cute is my little margarita air freshener in my car? It smells incredible. All right, I'm off to show the house to my clients. She's in a really hard, hard, hard price point. I have a feeling this house I'm going to may be the best that she's gonna find in her price range. It's hot, it's 107 here. I did throw a skirt on so that I wasn't wearing pajama shorts to my showing. So we are off and running in the heat. I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I brought with me for dessert so that I can snack on this, maybe on my way home from the showing. And my battery's about to die in my camera so I want to get some footage of it before that happened. So I brought the Utopia snacks. You guys know I love this. This is the bananas for chocolate. I really, really like this one. It's so good. It has little banana chips, espresso cookie clusters, and dark chocolate covered sunflower seeds which are so delicious. This is four points. It has eight grams of protein. I love Utopia snacks as you guys know. I love this one and the espresso obsesso. And then my least favorite is the honey mustard. But if I I'm craving something savory I'll gravitate towards that one I will link Utopia down below for you guys with a discount highly recommend great for on the go so here's the house I showed my client it's actually really cute so it looks like she's gonna think about putting in an offer so wish us luck <music> Thank you for joining me 
on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all my food, that really good dinner recipe, my new pillow, my candle subscription. It was a fantastic day. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below again for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, and of course my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!